guys welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we're gonna learn how we can implement drag and drop functionality in recycler view so i have created this empty project and in the activity main we don't have anything for now so what i'll do i'll change this text view to recycler view first we'll create one recycler view we'll set up its adapter and then we'll work on drag and drop functionality so let's just give it a width of 0 dp and height of 0 dp as well we can remove this text view cool so then i'll go to the build.gradle app level and i'll enable the view binding so to enable view binding we write build features we write view binding here view binding and we make it true then i'll click on sync now Till then we'll go to the resources values and to the themes I'll change the dark action bar theme to no action bar no action bar cool then I'll close the themes I'll close the build.gradle app level we'll go to the main activity we'll just collapse the project view as well then I'll create one late init var for recycler view oh sorry for binding so binding this will be of type activity main binding i'll write this one and then over here i'll initialize the binding so activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator cool then instead of passing this layout resource file here we'll pass binding dot root cool then we'll set up some properties to our recycler view so binding dot set has fixed size sorry binding dot recycler view okay we didn't give it an id so let's just give it an id so id so id we'll just keep it name as recycler view cool then over here binding dot recycler view dot set has fixed size we'll make it true then binding dot recycler view dot layout manager this will be linear layout manager you can use whatever layout you want i'll provide a context here so this cool and then i'll create one list here so private val item list this will be equals to mutable list of strings cool then I'll call one function which will be prepare data and in this function just create it first prepare data we'll add a data to our item list so item list dot add I'll add item 1 just write item 1 I'll duplicate this few times I'll make it 2 I'll make it 3, 5, 6, 7. Cool, so we'll add 7 items over here. Alright, so our list has been set up correctly. Then we'll go to the package. We'll create one adapter class for our recycler view. So I'll name it as a recycler adapter. Cool, and this will take a list. So private val. Item list of type list of uh, strings. Cool. And this class will inherit from recycler view. Recycler view dot adapter. We need to pass inner class here, but before that, we'll create the inner class which will be view holder class. So, inner class, you can name it as item view holder. And this will take parameter which will be the layout so we'll just create one layout simple layout so layout resource file and we'll name it as uh, each item we'll go to the split mode i'll collapse the project view i'll change this to material card view so material card view where is the card this one cool match parent will be height width and wrap content will be the height so we'll provide some elevations and all that so first 
radius then card elevation of adp then we need to make one parameter true card use compact padding which will provide on some elevation and shadows all right so inside this we'll have the text view so text view which will be wrap content and wrap content text will be let's just write item over here and gravity will be center so center i guess layout gravity so layout gravity will be center cool we'll add some properties just like text color which will make black text style which will be bold and the text size will increase the size a bit so text size and we'll make it 18 sp cool so 18 sp is good we'll change it uh, we'll add the id so id will be we'll just keep it simple as a text view we'll provide it and padding so padding vertical of 12 dp and this looks cool now you can increase the padding more like 16 dp cool so now this looks fine to me then what we can do is we can go to the recycle adapter and here we can pass the binding so again private well binding which will be each item binding this one this will be this class will inherit from recycle view dot view folder and in here we need to pass binding dot root all right inside this we'll create one function which will be from bind which we will use to bind the data but before that we can pass this class over here and we can import it so import and then parenthesis then alt enter to implement the three recycle wave functions select all okay and get item count we can simply the list size so item list list dot size all right this will be happy then in here we'll initialize the binding so binding will create one binding this will be equals to each item binding dot inflate layout inflator dot from parent dot context attach to root and the view group so parent and attach root will be false then we can just return item view holder and we can pass the binding binding cool this will be happy then uh, inside the bind function we'll call our text view so binding dot sorry binding dot text view text this will be equals to while title string this will be equals sorry not to var this will be equals to title cool and we'll call this function from on bind view holder so here i can write holder dot bind and we need to pass the item list of position all right our recycler view is a uh, recycler view adapter is done now i'll go to the main activity and here we'll set up the recycler view to our adapter so binding dot recycler view we just create the adapter first so well adapter this will be equals to recycler adapter and we need to pass the list so i'll pass item list then dot adapter equals to the adapter that we have created just now so let's try to run the app and we'll check it's working or not so as you can see our app has been installed item 1 2 3 4 up to 7 so yeah if i long press on any item and try to drag it's not working but our recycler view is set up correctly now what we'll do we'll go to the main activity and we'll implement the drag and drop functionality for that so in android we have one uh, item touch helper class which we use to implement uh, this kind of things with the recycler view item just like uh, if you want to swipe the item or if you want to drag the item we do it with the help of item touch helper so down here we'll create one item touch helper object 
so we write private val uh, we'll name it as item touch helper cool and we'll initialize this by using lazy keyword so whenever we need it then only we'll initialize it okay so in here we'll create one variable which will be simple item touch callback and this will be equals to object it is coming from item let me just scroll it item touch helper dot simple callback as you can see this one and here we need to pass few parameters so the drag direction as you can see first parameter is drag direction and then we have swipe direction so we don't want to implement swipe direction in this video we are focused on drag directions so we want up and down so up we need to import it so up or down this one or uh, we can also support a start and end as well so start or end cool then the swipe direction will pass zero as we don't want a swipe functionality over here cool so in the object as you can see we are getting error so it is asking us to implement few functions that we get from this simple item touch help a simple callback so we'll click on both and we get on move and on swipe so we don't want to do anything on on swipe so we'll just remove that to do and we want to impl implement this on move, move function so over here what we will write first of all we'll create one adapter so adapter and this will be equals to cycler view dot adapter as recycler adapter cool this one then we need to create uh, two variables from and to so i'll create val from this will be equals to view holder that we get over here so view holder dot adapter position and we'll create another val which will be equals to two so this will be target that dot equals to adapter position again target we are getting it from here then we'll notify our adapter so adapter dot notify item mode so not notify item mode sorry notify item we get set of functions uh, with this adapter so we are focused on notify item mode and here we need to pass the two position from position and two position so i'll pass from and to cool then we can just return true from here so return true all right so on move functionality on move function is done okay so then over here we need to initialize our item touch helper so item touch helper and we'll attach our callbacks to it so our callbacks are simple item touch callback and we'll paste it over here cool so i guess uh, everything is done for item touch helper now what we need to do we need to write item touch helper dot attach to recycler view and we pass our recycler view cool so let's just try to run the app and we'll see it's working or not cool so our app is installed let me just share the screen so if i click on item 3 yeah this is working let me just click on item 4 and yeah you can see it is moving let's just drag item 1 to the bottom position cool so everything is working but we can do one more thing here so so in this uh, item touch helper dot simple callback we get uh, two more functions which we can implement to implement uh, to add some animations so one function is on select change yeah this one so in here what we need to do we'll check uh, if the action state that we get in the form of int that is equal to action state drag then we call view holder it is as it is nullable we'll add the null check item view we'll set the alpha to it so alpha would be 0.5 percent 
0.5f cool and we also want to clear the animations as well when the item is still and not in the drag position so for that we will override another function which is clear view so clear view as you can see this one and in this we can just copy this line and i'll paste it over here we'll change this 0.5 to 1 as we want to make it completely visible so no alpha all right so let's just try to run the app again and i hope the animations will be added so our application has been installed and if i click on this item one so as you can see the animations has been added and you can adjust the alpha based on your requirement i would suggest you to use, suggest you to use 0.8 as it looks bit better than 0.5 so let's just try to drag it cool so this is looking fine to me yeah so drag and drop functionality is done but in a uh, real app you also want to update or you also want to store the preference that user has set over here like which item he has dragged where so in that case you also have to update this list in the database or whatever database you are using room or cloud so it totally based on your requirement so i'm not gonna do that in this video as this video is only focused on ui but in maybe in future i'll upload one tutorial with room database that will be kind of notes app so in that video i'll i'll implement that functionality as well so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching